Well, experiencing the Rose Bowl and knowing that you're Pac-10 champions, I think that's my greatest memory. The 1995 Rose Bowl was a culmination of a great Doug career. Senior quarterback Danny O'Neill was named a co-player of the game after throwing for 456 yards in defeat. It's always difficult for me because uh, my first thought is we lost and we didn't win. So and in some regards, it was, uh, it was almost uh, a great experience. From 1991 to 1994, O'Neill threw 62 touchdowns, the most in Ducks history. People ask me if I miss playing football, and I often say, well, there's a lot that I don't miss. It's not always fun, but I can assure you I miss throwing, I miss throwing touchdown passes. One thing O'Neill doesn't miss is the pressure of playing quarterback, something he often struggled with during his sophomore year. The value of my life was directly related to my performance on the football field. And, and when you have that mentality, that that's kind of a that's a tough way to live, especially when you're not doing well. That's when O'Neill turned to God and reaffirmed his faith. It was a turning point in his young life. So my faith, I think, freed me from having football be the very substance of my life. It became a part of my life, and I think it allowed me to deal with adversity. Now, more than 16 years after that record-setting Rose Bowl, O'Neill is the pastor at the Calvary Fellowship in Eugene. Uh, it, it made sense to me that if I believed there was a God, and I believed that um, God has purposed me to experience His ways, then uh, what a better way to do that than doing it full time. O'Neill is also the chaplain for the current Oregon team offering prayer and fellowship. After all, he knows all too well how faith can provide relief. Phil Milani, KVAL Sports.